and welcome back. This is Cindy from Gets Love Garden and Farm Fresh Eggs. Today we're going to talk about how to make um, a netted cabbage cage to protect from the invasive cabbage moth. As you can see here we have one started or one finished and we're going to add on to it. And I pre-cut everything. Um, I use a three quarter inch PVC for my uh, irrigation so I have some left over and some that I uh, didn't like where the holes ended up placed, so we're actually just recycling some used material. I pre-cut these using a just a standard PVC cutter, a ratcheting cutter. You can pick them up at any hardware store. Um, these are the, they come in a 10-foot uh, stick, so um, I basically just cut these in half. So these are five foot, five foot lengths, and then. Um, these are 32 inches that I'm going to use for the legs that go down. And the reason why I picked that is because it gives you a four foot uh, width at the bottom. So hopefully that's plenty of room for the cabbage to spread out and stuff like that. And you can still get in and work around it if you need. Um, also what you need, <coughs> you need four 90 degree uh, fittings like this. Um, I'm using Schedule 40 PVC. You don't have to use the Schedule 40, you can use the other. Just make sure your fittings correspond with the grade of pipe that you're using. You also need two uh, tees, and then um, I guess you would call this a furniture tee, they call it. It's got the, the straight and then the, the two angles down on 45. Now these I did have to order off Amazon. They didn't have them at our local hardware store or anywhere that I could find, but I ordered a whole pack of these um, for fairly inexpensive. Also we're going to use this, uh, it's just deer netting here. Um, hopefully that's going to work good for us. It's, it, uh, it's doubled so when you unroll it you can actually just fold it down. And then we just have uh, just some standard zip ties. You can pick those up at any store. And then I got a hammer here and my tape measure, uh, a scissor to cut the netting. So we'll get started and I'll show you kind of how it goes. Um, first of all, I'm going to start in my middle and use use um, the, the four way and just kind of come down. If you feel like you can't get these in good, you can take your hammer and just give them a good little, good little tap. And, and that, that'll do the trick for you. And then attach to that, the middle, you'll put your T there on both sides. And you can do this either in your garage if you want or out at your yard. Uh, we just chose to do it in the garden here. And then that way it's already here. And then your five foot lengths go up at the top. Um, and now, thanks. A couple things I forgot in my supplies. These two you can buy at your hardware store that you need is you need the the tr the try the tri angle here with the 90 and then the 245 and then you put that on the end there and then just keep going with your your triangles that one's kind of sticky so I'll give it a little tap there you can either use like a rubber mallet or a this is just a a tent hammer, um, something lightweight. You don't want to crack your PVC. And then you do your 90s at the bottom again. And then your five foot pieces go in between here. And the 
kids are playing on the swing set in the back. Just give them a little tap there. And I'm going to go on with the next one. This will make you just over 10 feet of netting cage. Helper here supervising, making sure I'm doing it right, and then we'll finish off the ends here with another another three piece and two more nineties. second and get kids situated off the swing set. So I was putting this uh, elbow here for the end and like I said you just give it a little little tap to make sure these are in um, and then attach these to the 90s at the bottom. Make sure it's good and tight and then you're ready to uh, zip tie this netting onto it. Um, and like I said this netting comes halved uh, so it's kind of handy. I'm going to have my little helper here help me uh, come down to the end, honey. And I'm going to have her help me hold it. You kind of need two people. You can do it with only one person, but it's easier. You just hold that. And then we'll string it out the length of the... Just hold it tight, babe. And you want to leave a little bit extra for the ends, because um, then you can drape it over your next your next uh, cage, uh, and then too uh, on your ends, then you can always tuck your ends in. So I always cut it plenty long. This is pretty inexpensive stuff. Uh, one thing with this, you want to make sure you don't try overstretch it, because it is pretty um, light plastic netting. Um, and it will just rip. Okay. Okay, Charlotte, take the take the one side. I'll just kind of help her here. You can basically split it right in the middle, where it, and drape it over both sides. Now, and with this one, I'm going to kind of go over to the next cage and put my, and zip tie it together. And basically, I'm just going to zip tie the net into the PVC. And then, and then tuck it under, tuck it under the edges. And then uh, you can see, if you look at this other one that's done, you can see we have zip ties at all the junctions to hold the netting on. Um, and you can do it as much as you think you need or not. Um, here at this end, we have, no, we're not quite finished here. We just have an extra piece of PVC that we cut off and I'm gonna zip tie this to kind of just to weight down this end. Um, I just didn't know for sure how far how um, that I wanted to go in this row because I got some other plants here, not all cabbage. Um, and then too, I also have just some landscaping spikes. Uh, and I'll just put a couple of these when I decide for sure where I'm going to uh, position this at. And then I'll just stake this down good just to make sure that the wind doesn't blow it over or the kids knock it over or something like that. Um, and hopefully this should give it plenty of space to grow. Um, we got our drip irrigation line down, 
so we should be able to water um, and then if we would need to treat it we could always powder through this or lift it off um, and then hopefully we'll have good cabbage and it'll work just slick make sure to like and share the video on YouTube